Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. So recently we have been taking a look at some of the important interview questions and answers. We have covered some of the scenario based questions in our previous video. So this video is going to be a continuation of the same video. Today I will show you a very important uh, scenario based Power BI interview questions which is very frequently asked by the interviewer. So let's go to the practical demonstration. So the scenario that the interviewer will give you is this. Very commonly he will give you a year filter okay, or a year slicer. So he will say that if I choose a particular year, that particular year should reflect in the chart title. So if I select 2005, it should show me sales for 2005. Again, if I select 2006, this chart title should automatically change and it should show me sales for 2006. Now, so let us go ahead and first see where the chart title is available. If you select the chart, the chart title will be available under your format. You have to go to general and you have to turn on this title. If it is off, you won't be able to see the sales, right? And so first of all, you have to turn this on. You'll be able to see the chart title. Now, this chart title is not dynamic, right? So you have to make this chart title dynamic and that too based on the user selection. So whatever the user will select from the slicer, based on the selection of the user, that particular parameter has to be passed to the chart title, right? So also we will see three scenarios and three different kind of questions based on this topic, which is dynamic title selection of a chart based on the parameters selected by the user. So let us go and see the first scenario. So as I told you, the first scenario should be this. I am choosing 2005. I should get sales for 2005. If I choose 2006, I should see sales for 2006. So guys, this is very simple actually. So if you come to the format pane and if you go to general and see the title, over here, generally you will be seeing an FX, right? So I have used that FX. Right, so what, how I have used that FX is I have written a measure. And what is that measure? First, let, of, let us see what is that measure. So that measure is this, which is dynamic chart title. So let me go ahead and zoom this a bit. Okay, guys, so as evident, I have used the selected value, right? So what does the selected value do? I have a previous video. I'll be giving you the link of the video as well. But in short, whatever value you will select, it will automatically come as a parameter to the selected value. So for this particular slicer, I have used order date, right? Order date, which is coming from my fact internet sales. So this particular order date, I have to get the selected value. I will pass this particular column inside the selected value. So let me go ahead and show you the uh, measure once again. So this is the measure. The measure name is dynamic chart title. And I have done over here selected value of order date, right? Order date comma year because I just need the year to be passed. Now, an important thing is obviously you have to concatenate this with this particular thing called sales for because you need the sales for and then the thing has to be dynamic. So dynamic thing will be replaced by selected value, right? So and this is also important because the if you see the order date, it will be of type date right from where you are getting the order date dot year but until unless you use this n percent which is concatenated symbol it won't be converted into a text okay guys so remember this before selected value whenever you are using an m percent and you're giving something it always converts the entire thing as a text it will treat that as a text this is very important concept okay so now what I have done is simply I have shown you the measure uh, what I have written. So I will go again to my format pane. I will go to general. I will select the chart title and from FX there is something called format style and field value. So my formatting style will be based on the field value that I will pass right now. And what will be the field value? What field value should we base this on? That means you should base this on the dynamic chart title this particular measure this is a symbol of a measure right so that means i have created a measure and i want this particular title to be to be based on this dynamic measure that i have created and as soon as you will p click on ok then it will work fine so i'll select 2005 this is sales for 2005 if i select 2007 this is the sales for 2007 if i select 2008 this is sales for 
2008. So hope you are clear with this requirement. This was the first scenario based interview question. Second scenario based the same the same scenario now. Some of the interviewers will ask you a very tricky question, but this will be based on color. Actually, this is very simple, but during interview time, maybe you will get confused. Okay. So what is the second question is whenever the current year is selected so right now i don't have 2022 or 2023 with me i have an old data set and i'll be giving you the pbix file as well so over there the latest year the max of the year is 2008 so the interviewer will say that whenever i choose any previous year to 2008 that is my current year i should get the chart title in one color which is let's say blue right but if i choose the current year which is 2008 it should show me the chart color the title of the chart color as red this is also so the title should again change dynamically based on the user selection actually what is happening is already the measure is written right so let me select this particular visualization if i go to general if i go under title already this particular text is written that's why you are able to see this changing dynamically right so i'm not going to touch this but one more functionality over here is called the text color so again you have to base you have to write one more measure so that the color of the title will change this time not only the heading so for that i have written a measure called dynamic color and i have used the function of switch so i have written switch inside switch i have taken this selected value same thing order date of year right so and i am now comparing it i am telling power bi that if the selected year is 2008 that is the latest year then give me red else give me blue remember guys that power bi if you write anything in the inside double quotes and if you mention a color as red or blue it has a special meaning in power bi or okay so uh, now what we will do we will go simply to this text color which is this fx and again the format style will be field value and we will choose the dynamic color this time okay so we have to go to the table and we have to choose the dynamic color measure that we just created and click on okay right so we have mentioned whenever it is 2008 we should be seeing the color red automatically it will change you to red you don't have to do anything there is an automatic thing that's why i told you that whenever you are writing anything in a, in a measure and you are linking it with this text color automatically power bi will understand the meaning of red and blue whenever i am selecting the current year it is showing in red whenever i am selecting some other year apart from the color, uh, current year it will show in another color which is blue okay so i hope you you are clear with this uh, scenario based interview question as well for the third and the last scenario based uh, question that we have for today is the interviewer will tell you that whenever the i am i am choosing uh, you know the current year that is 2008 i should not be getting 2008 written over here i should be getting current year written over here and if i choose some other year let's say previous year 2007 then the functionality remains same 2007 for 2007 if i choose 2006 it should show me 2006 right so same it's a very simple thing but for this also obviously we need to write a measure so let us quickly check the measure that we have written so again i am using i am calling this dynamic chart title and i am just appending the word current year for here i am using the switch function right and i am evaluating the expression that i am evaluating is order date dot year the same expression that we have given so i am telling if the selected value is for 2008 then return and this particular thing is a text which is sales for current year so this particular thing is hard coded right sales for current year else if it is not 2008 it will come to this part and i will say sales for and then i will pass the selected value of order date so if uh, the user will select 2008 this portion will get executed and you will see sales for current year if uh, the user chooses some other year the other portion that is this portion gets executed and you see sales for and the year whatever you select so let us quickly go ahead and show you go to the format pane go to style and then inside title i'll just go to text and this time after choosing the field value i will choose current year the measure that i have created and i'll click on okay 
once that is done you will see this works fine so if i choose any year it will behave as that particular year 2005 for example but if i choose the current year which is 2008 i will see the text sales for current year so remember guys these are very very important scenario based power bi interview questions okay and i have already given you the answers as well so hope this helps you a lot and guys if you're liking the videos that i'm creating please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments i'll be happy to answer them as well till the next video guys have a nice day bye bye